Kwa wanaitwa Masi Masika na kibao chake kiondoka ya kwamba mkono wa Bwana si mfupi. Unaweza kukubariki pale popote ulipo, unaweza ukakuguza, unaweza ukakuinua. Mkono wake ni mrefu kufikia kila mmoja ambaye anamwamini. Moja kwa moja toka tunaingia katika mahojiano yetu ya siku leo. Leo ni siku ya Jumatatu. Uh, unajua kwamba leo ni siku ambayo sisi huzungumza kuhusiana na masuala ya afya yako. Na leo tunataka kuzungumzia kuhusiana na mambo ya addiction. Na hapa ni na wageni ndani ya nyumba siku ya leo. Hujambo kakangu? Salama sana. Uko salama? Niko mzima kabisa. Mwenyezi Mungu amekulinda. Amen linda amenibariki ameniinua amen ndio maana nashangilia tunashukuru Mwenyezi Mungu pengine kwa manufaa yule ambaye nakutazama unaweza kumweleza majina yako na mahali ambapo unatoka uh, mimi kwa majina yangu naitwa Jofre Mwadhi Njogona na mimi ni mzaliwa wa Nyandarwa nimetoka mm -hmm. Nyandarwa wow yeah. asanti mm -hmm. ndugu yangu asanti sana Karen kwa majina naitwa James Karalinga Amenu mean, kazi wa hapa nakuru. Mm -hmm. mm. Asante sana. Mm. Ah, siku ya leo tunazungumza kuhusiana na addiction. Pengine kwa manufaa yule ambaye anatutazama bwana James, mm -hmm. maana anajua wewe ni counselor. Ah, unaweza kutueleza kidogo wakati tunazungumzia addiction ni nini haswa ambacho tunazungumzia? Ah, asante sana kwa hilo swali. Um, addiction ni ule uraibu. Mhm. Mm kwamba ulianzia ulianzia pahari. Um, ulianzia kutumia kitu fulani. Mm -hmm ukidhani ya kwamba utakuwa na control ya hiyo kitu. Mm -hmm. um, munda unapo vyo enderea, unapata ya kwamba hiyo, hiyo kitu naso tumia kina mm -hmm. Na unakuwa ya kwamba huwezi ishi maisha mazuri bila kutumia hiyo kitu. Yes. Hapo unakuwa na uraibu. Mm -hmm. Ule uraibu, divya sasa tunawita addiction. Mm -hmm. Unakuwa kwa kireza tunasema ya kwamba uh, total dependence mm -hmm. on substances. Mm -hmm. Unakuwa sasa divyo uamukie, divyo uanze uh, siku yako, unamukia pombe. Mm -hmm. Divyo uanze siku yako, unanzia bagi. Divyo uanze siku yako, unanzia mihandrati mingine. Mm -hmm. Iyo inakuwa sasa inareta ule uraibu sasa. Ok. Yeah. Wow. Now my brother, yes. uh, najua kumba wewe ulikuwa mtu ambayo ulikuwa mefungwa na uraibu. Pengine kidogo uneza kutuelezea, ulikuwa ni uraibu wa nini? Uh, mimi nimepitia uraibu wa kunywa pombe mhm mm uh, nimepitia uraibu wa kubako mm -hmm. na mwisho nimemalizia na uraibu wa bangi kusema kweli nimevuta bangi miaka mingi mm -hmm. katika maisha yangu na imekuwa tu kikwazo katika maendeleo yangu kila nikijaribu kuendelea sipati maendeleo mm -hmm. kila nikijaribu ku save pesa mm -hmm. uh, sipati hiyo saving mm -hmm. nikijaribu kusimamisha familia a uh, inakuwa haisimami mm -hmm. sababu kusema kweli hakuna bibi anataka mtu akuvuta bangi ulianza aje kufuta bangi uh, kuvuta bangi nilianza tena 1995 mm -hmm. hata uh, mwaka wa 1995 baada ya kumaliza kidato cha 4 mm -hmm. um, najua wakati mtu ametoka form 4 kule kwetu mashambani sana sana anapewa jembe ya kwenda kulima mm -hmm. Na um, hivyo ndivyo ilikuwa katika hali yangu ya maisha mm -hmm. na juu si kuweza kuendelea. Um, hapo ndipo unapatana na hawa watu ambao wamekuwa katika ile kijiji yes. na wamekuwa katika ile ulaibu. Mm -hmm. So nikapatana na marafiki ambao pia walikuwa wanavuta bangi. Mm -hmm. Wengine walikuwa wanavuta tumbaku na sasa mimi nikawa mmoja wao. Mm -hmm. So katika ile pia ile pia na ile friendship ya kuwa na wao nikajipata na mimi nimeanza kuvuta bangi mm -hmm. na sasa sababu sikuwa na, na mambo mengi na tazamia katika maisha yangu ati kama ni elimu ya kuendelea sikuwa na tazamia hiyo yes. nikajipata sasa nimeendelea kuvuta ta mimi naenda na nunua mm -hmm. na wapatia malafiki zangu mm -hmm. kama sina na wao wanandipatia mm -hmm. ikaendelea na mnahiyo ikaendelea mpaka ikawa siwezi ishi na siwezi fanya kazi yangu mm -hmm. bila sasa ile kuvuta bangi ok yeah. So ulikuwa nafuta bangi plus na pombe? Nilikuwa nafuta bangi uh, na, na, na pombe mm -hmm. na ile tumbaku. Mm -hmm. Naona ile tumbaku. Mm -hmm. Bangi ni kitu moja ambacho kuwa kina attract kitu ingine. Mm -hmm. Ukivuta bangi inakuonyesha, ndiyo umevuta bangi, but unastahili kuwa na kitu kingine zaidi ya bangi. Ukivuta bangi tuseme msoko tomoja, mm -hmm. ah, weka ingine ya tumbaku hapo, mm -hmm. ya tumbaku hapo. Inakuwa tunaita ni top up. Mm -hmm. Uwa tunaita ni top up. Mm -hmm. Yani unafunikia mzuri yani una 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 unafinya sasa ile bangi inaingia vizuri okay. sasa, sasa ndio unasema ati umeenda tu college muko hai mm -hmm. but um, hiyo inakuwa tu unajipata tayari unakuwa ni kama umeshakuwa mgonjwa mm -hmm. sababu ile kitu ukiamka asubuhi kitu ya kwanza kufikiria 
before ufikirie ile kazi utaenda kufanya mm -hmm. ama before ufikirie mahali utaenda kutafuta pesa mm -hmm. kile unatafuta kwanza ni ile bangi okay. at least uamushe ile akili hey. sababu ni kama ni kuamusha akili mm -hmm. unaona wakati umevuta bangi ni kama inaendanga hiyo moshi inaendanga inakufunga 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 mm -hmm. kule akilini unaona mm -hmm. So inakuwa kama hujaivuta ni kama ile akili haijaamka. Okay. So unakuwa kila wakati ikishuka chini unasikia tena unataka kuvuta. Mm -hmm. Tubako nayo ni kama ni ile ina, ina, ina ni kama ni kama nut na bolt yake. Unaona? Mm -hmm. So zinashikana zote mbili. <laughs> Ikifika jioni <laughs> tuseme ulikuwa umefanya kibarua. Ah hiyo pesa sasa unaona ah acha hata na mimi nitoke kama wanaume wale wengine mm -hmm. nitoke kwa mtaa mm -hmm. at least nipige kikombe kwa kimoja cha cha keg mm -hmm. namna hiyo So kwa hivyo wewe kwanza kwako ilikuwa due to peer pressure It was due to peer pressure okay. sababu baada ya kutoka shule mm -hmm. nimerudi kwa society mm -hmm. na kwa ile society kuna wale wakongwe yes. unaona wale sasa ma friends wangu mm -hmm. wenye wamekuwa kwa hiyo mtaa mm -hmm. na tumekuwa bado wananiona nikisoma mm -hmm. wananiingiza kwa hiyo maneno okay. na mimi baada ya badala unaona sasa hiyo unakuwa you are driving mm -hmm. ni kama unaongozwa mm -hmm. umeshikwa na driver anakuongoza sasa kuja twende namna hii na mm -hmm. unafuata Okay. Yeah. Mara nyingi wamekuwa kisema kwamba ukifuta bangi inakufanya mm -hmm. unakuwa mwerevu eh? mm -hmm. unakuwa genius kweli kweli. Mm -hmm. Wewe wakati ulikuwa unafuta bangi uh, was there any difference in terms of the way you were thinking the way you are doing things? Um vile watu huwa wanasema na vile mimi pia nimekuja kuona through experience ni kwamba uh, wakati nilikuwa sivuti bangi mm -hmm. nilikuwa sharp. Mm -hmm. nilikuwa sharp. Na pesa yangu nilikuwa hata ninaweza kununua mavazi yangu mm -hmm. na save na save na save unaona ile saving kidogo kidogo una save kidogo kidogo unanunua trusa mm -hmm. una save kidogo kidogo unanunua kiatu lakini wakati nilianza kuvuta hiyo unaona kama nikiwa na 50 bob haiwezi simama kwa mfuko mm -hmm. 50 bob haiwezi kuzimama kwa mfuko naenda tu nanunua hiyo bangi okay. nikiwa na 10 bob Ten bobu ina, inatosha kununua ile tumbako. So in short kazi yako so, ambayo ilikuwa inaifanya ulikuwa unafanyia bangi. Nilikuwa nafanyia bangi na pombe. Na, na tumbako na, 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 na pombe. Hakuna kitu so, kingine. There was no saving so ukiangalia nilikuwa tu nakaa tu ni kama una survive ni kama hujui kwenye mraelekea ni kama huishi mm -hmm. unaona kiafya ni kiafya unazoroteka sana mm -hmm. kwanza unaona sasa vile nilivyo mm -hmm. mimi niko very hero mm -hmm. and I'm proud of it. Mm -hmm. But when I was in those years wakati nilikuwa kwa ile kwa ile kwa ile uraibu sasa yes. afya yangu ilikuwa imezoroteka kabisa mm -hmm. mpaka ninakuwa sisemi mimi ni mweupe but ninaweza sema sasa mimi ni mweupe mm -hmm. juu nilikuwa nimekuwa mweusi kabisa unaona ile tunasema uko na tint mm -hmm. ile tint nilikuwa na tint mm -hmm. juu kwanza na nilikuwa mchafu yes kuoga mm -hmm. bangi ujue bangi haipendagi maji Haya sio sharpness bangi haipendi maji <laughs> okay bangi ni adui ya maji mm -hmm. so ma, maji hutapatana nayo mhm mm eh nguo zako bado utakuwa mchafu so yes. unaona juu kama huogi mm -hmm. hata nguo hufui mm -hmm. unaona mm -hmm. angalia haya mambo mengine siwe hatu singeweza uh, socialness kama vile sasa nimekaa hapa tunaongea na wewe mm -hmm. ningekuwa nimeshakuchapa ningeshakuwa nimekupiga mandodi na ile na ile ile harufu ni okay. ile pumzi unaona mm -hmm juu kile umevuta ndicho bado unatoa nje mm -hmm. so hata kuongea na mtu mm -hmm. huwezi ongea ukiwa comfortable mm -hmm. unataka wewe usimame huko na mimi nisimame <laughs> sitaki tusongeane yes. sababu ninasikia socially mm -hmm. uh, ni kama sitangamani vizuri na, na, mm -hmm. na watu mm -hmm. unaona so iko mambo mingi mambaya hmm? so basically unaona? nani alikushawishi pengine uende Uh, serenity place um, unaona sasa katika ile hali ya niko na mom niko na my brothers my mm -hmm. sisters wakaangalia maisha yangu mm -hmm. wakaona hii maisha ya huyu kijana wetu mm -hmm. haisongi mm -hmm. amekuwa useless mm -hmm. si anunue nguo si si si, si ajijenge mm -hmm. Alikuwa ameoa bibi ametoroka. Mm -hmm. Sasa tutamfanya nini? Hao ndio wale ni hurumia kwa sababu ya hii uraibu. Ni sababu ya hii uraibu. hao ndio wale ni hurumia wakaona wacha tuchukue huyu kijana yetu mm -hmm. at least tumtafutie serene mahali anaweza rekebisha hii tabia yake. Lehab that, that is. Mm -hmm. Na ndio hao hao ndio wale nileta serenity. Mm -hmm. Um and surely mimi kunileta serenity. Unasikianga ile kusave life, mm -hmm. kuokoa maisha. Mm -hmm. 
Unaweza pata mtu kwa njia akona njaa ni ni akona njaa kabisa mm -hmm. at least umununulie ndazi yes. umeokoa hiyo maisha yake. So walikwambia so, wanakupeleka wapi? Um, Shuale unajua mimi singekubali sababu bado okay. nilikuwa nasikia hata. Unajua wengi hawakubali. Eh? So what exactly did um, they tell you? <laughs> walitumia unjanja yao, uh -huh. walitumia unjanja yao juu unaona sasa ukiwa katika ile ulaibu ya banki uh -huh. kwanza unakuwaruzana na mpaka sheria. Uh -huh. So nilikuwa mtu wa kushikwa na wachiliwa, uh -huh. wa kushikwa na wachiliwa. Uh -huh. Na Mungu ni mzuri sikuwa nimeshashikwa nikaperekwa mbali. Uh -huh. Unaona? Nilikuwa tu najitetea oh, mimi niko hivi niko mnyonge na sitarudia ninawachiliwa mm. lakini siku ile nilipatwa na wazazi wangu in fact walinipata nikawaambia oh mimi nimechoka hata sasa hii maisha nimechoka nayo wakati huo ndio ilikuwa pengine wangu wa mwisho ninaweza sema mm -hmm. sababu waliniambia kuja tutaku, tunataka kwenda kutembea na wewe mm. kwa anti yako mm -hmm. Unaona kwa anti yangu mm. na niko na anti yangu ambaye anaishi hapa na kuru. Yes. So hiyo ndiyo ilikuwa trick ile walitumia mm -hmm. sababu sasa mimi kuingia kwa gari ndugu yangu akaingia pande hii na mwingine akaingia pande hii. Mm. Mimi hapo singetoka. Mhm. Mm serenity ndani. Sijui vile walikuwa wame, wao ndio walijua hii serenity mm -hmm. waliitoa wapi mm hiyo. -hmm. Mimi nilijipata kwa serenity mm -hmm. lakini nilikuwa najua napelekwa kwa my aunt mm -hmm. ambaye yako na ku nakuru ambaye yako na kuru mm -hmm. kumbe sasa hapa nimeingia na chindua kwa hapa ni kwa aunti yangu hata hawa watu wenye nimepata hapa serenity mimi si siwajui ani nikaambiwa sasa na ujue ile geti imefungwa mm -hmm. saa hiyo juu gari imekuja ndio tumeleta nimekuja na gari gari imeingia kwa compound mm -hmm. Na hapa unaona ni kama walikuwa wame wamepanga hii mpango. Mm -hmm. Juu gari tu ilikuja tu ni kama imeingia. Ni kama walikuwa wametayarisha gari itakuja imeingi, imeingia. So nikaambiwa wewe gojea hapo sasa bangi utavuta tena. Na saa hiyo ni madhi ameniambia. Madhi ndiye ameniambia bangi utavuta tena. Na niko kwa compound nyingine ambayo mimi hapa hata hapa sijui. Unaona? So kwa ile mm, nikashtu nikashtuka nikashikwa na mshtuko atitisa mtabangi eh, na nilikuwa nayo kidogo kwa nyumba no, kama ni, ka, kama ningejua <laughs> si, ningekuja nayo ningekuja nayo <laughs> ama si ningekuwa nimetoa ile lock unaona ile kutoa lock mm. kutoa lock ya bangi mm -hmm. ni unaamka asubuhi mm -hmm. kwanza unapiga nini puff Una, si puff mm. unapiga hiyo msokoto unajua sasa mimi <laughs> puff moja haingi nifanya kitu mm -hmm. by the way mm -hmm. mimi nimevuta bangi sana so nilikuwa na napiga msokoto mzuri unajua ni mimi najirolia mm -hmm. na mm -hmm. uh, msokoto kiasi hii mm -hmm. sasa hiyo inafungua inafungua nilikuwa nasema ati inafungua mishipa na inafungua akili <laughs> lakini kube ni kufunga ilikuwa inafunga zaidi mm -hmm. juu nikivuta hiyo hata siendi kufanya kazi mm -hmm. so hapa kwa serenity kuangalia angalia nikaona poster mm -hmm. imeandikwa drug free zone drug free zone, zone. <laughs> sasa nikashindwa na madhi ameniambia hapa maisha hapa ya kuvuta mbagi anaishia hapo nikaona sasa kweli ya mimi nimeshikwa unaona mm -hmm. mm -hmm. nika shika hivi nikasema Mungu ni asanti juu siku shikwa na polisi yes. kama nimeshikwa na watu wa na, 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 nimeshikwa na watu wa familia mm -hmm. wamenileta kwa anti narcotics mm -hmm. na hapa sasa siwezi toka tena mm -hmm. Unajua hata nimeporwa saa hiyo sina hata simu. Iko security nyingine kali sana hapo. Nzuri. Mm -hmm. Nasema ni nzuri because wakati huo nilipoingia yes. niliwachukua ni watu wabaya. Ulikaa huko for how long? Ah nilikaa huko for three months. Mm -hmm. Ah sababu nilikaa mwezi wa tano mm -hmm. na mwezi wa sita na mwezi wa saba. So tamaa imeisha kabisa. Ah mimi ni mtu sasa naweza sema nafanya kazi yangu. Mm -hmm. Uh, by the way ninaenda kuwa airo ninaenda kuwa mwezi wa 10 wewe uh, mwezi wa 10 ni taoa na nitaoa sasa nikiwa na ita, na 44 years mm -hmm. imagine wow 44 years lakini usijali all is not lost all is not lost mm -hmm. na nashukuru Mungu sana mm -hmm. sababu siku hizi mm -hmm. huwa naongea uzuri wa serenity what can you say about serenity please? serenity is a rehabilitation of a kind mm -hmm. a special mm -hmm. rehabilitation mm -hmm. sababu kure kwanza unaona watu wa bangi mm -hmm. wanapenda kukura sana watu wa bangi wanakuanga na appetite nyingine ya ujinga mm -hmm. naweza sema ni appetite ya ujinga kukura tu unakura tu unakura tu mm -hmm. na ufikiri kufanya kazi lakini unakura tu serenity unakura 
na unakula special diet mm -hmm. that's a balanced diet mm -hmm. unaona and then kuna ile counseling yes. unaona ile counseling so apart from chakula hii ya kuweka kwa tumbo mm. kuna chakula ya kuweka kwa moyoni mm. that is the spiritual nourishment mm. na pia unapewa chakula pia ya akili mm -hmm. unaona mimi wakati nilikuja serenity nilikuwa mtu ambaye siwezi manage pesa yangu yes sikuwa ninaweza ku manage my socialness with the people mm. kwa hivyo singeingiana vizuri na watu kule kijijini mm -hmm. unaona health yangu ilikuwa ime deteriorate mm -hmm. ilikuwa imeisha kabisa mm -hmm. ati sasa we unaonekana you are a person mm -hmm. lakini ni kama we mtu tayari hakuna kitu ndani mm -hmm. no content of a man mm -hmm. but figure ina, inaonyesha we ni mwanaume lakini hakuna kitu ndani okay. so ayo mambo yote yani ile hadhi yangu mm -hmm. i was not able to make my decisions mm -hmm. atikuamua uamuzi wangu akili yangu imebebwa mm -hmm. na watu wengine imebengwa na hii bangi so i was not living my life okay. sikuwa naishi maisha yangu wow mpenzi mtazamaji tunazungumza kuhusiana na drugs and substance abuse ambao pia ni ugonjwa ambao umewatesa watu kweli kweli na kuna clip moja ambayo tumeweza kuandalia kutoka the serenity place ambayo tutakuwa tunaitazama tukirudi kidogo tuzungumze pamoja na council ama mshauri kutoka serenity place na mambo itakuwa shwari kabisa nambari yetu inasalia kwa 22545 kama una swali lolote ama mchango wote unaweza kuelekeza pale ama uko na mtu ambaye ni addict ungetaka pia aweze kusaidika unaelekeza tu jumbe wako pale kwa 22545 na mambo itakuwa shwari kabisa kipindi hiki ni cha kubadilisha maisha hivyo basi tunataka sote maisha yetu yakaweze kubadilika kama we unakunywa pombe unafuta sigara unafuta bangi tunataka maisha yetu wote yakaweze kubadilika wacha tutizame clip hii My name is Nelson Kagwe, a teacher by profession in Moranga County. I was a fashion designer. I'm an addiction counselor. I do IT as a profession. People gifted and skilled in a wide array of professions now assembled in one house to fight a common problem, alcohol and drug addiction. God, yeah. God is to We have uh, had uh, to treat doctors, medical doctors, dentists, lawyers, uh, IT specialists, businessmen, and also security officers, and also university uh, students. For nearly all of them, their addiction began in high school, except for the teacher who took his first sip of alcohol while in primary school. Some of my papers in form for I did them when I was drunk. I would say, you know, just one, one drink and one drink is never enough. When you are drunk, when you are drunk, you only sleep as long as uh, the drunkenness is still in your head. Mm -hmm. Once it disappears, you wake up, you cannot sleep again. Mm -hmm. So you would wait for, uh, for the early morning so that you go back to the... In fact, not once did I knock to uh, the doors of those selling alcohol so that they could open mm -hmm. and come and sell for me. Sometimes I would leave home very clean that I'm going to work, but I would take a detour. Hile tunasamaka atinaeda kutoa rock, rock, and then I would drink the whole day. For 30 days a month, 12 months a year, they would religiously take their drug of choice. I could know neither myself nor anybody else. I felt that I could not even work anymore. To get enough time to be drinking, I had to take another retirement where nobody would be asking me where you have been, what you have been doing. Uh, my work by then was just standing around uh, stages. I would beg for 20 bob. I just became a total wreck. It reached a point where I lost a spouse. It is after her husband walked out on her, leaving her with the responsibility of caring and providing for their two-year-old son that reality sank in. Stopping was a problem. So when I came here, I noticed uh, addiction is a disease. So your son has never known a sober mom? Honestly, yes. Okay, <laughs> that is the sad that truth. Because... I'm looking forward to being a better mom. For 90 days, she will be in this facility alongside 21 other recovering addicts. Nikiwa uko inje, sikuwa nafikiri amini addict. Nimekuja kulia lazi nikiwa hapa. Nilikuwa addict. Jumi nilikuwa nafikiri ya addict ni mtu 
tuseme akitumia kitu kaa pombe ama kitu kaa bangi akichizi uh-huh. sasa hiyo ndio nini addict na huyo ni anafaa kwa rehab it had become impossible for robert to keep up with his career in fashion design hata utajitunga na hiyo shindano sababu unatetemeka e, na pia kuweka hiyo uzi kwa shindano wako kashimo kadogo mm-hmm. unapata hiyo ni bado ni tisho <laughs> it was different though for his colleague kirwa an it specialist in a parastatal whose only sell out was a deteriorating health kazini i was one of the best because even during my addiction time nilipata three promotion in in one year the cancerous will tell you that drug addicts have the best minds they are very intelligent people in fact so intelligent that uh, i think sometimes some of them get into drugs and alcohol because uh, they, they feel misunderstood Fortunately for Kirwa his organization granted him a 3 month sick leave but to secure the sick leave he had to make a bold move So you actually reported to the office. Yeah I reported and they were supportive Yeah wow. Even my parents wako wanajua that I'm in rehab Once they they were jaribu kunipigia simu wakapata my phone is off after some time wakajua niko kwa rehab na kwa hiyo drugs iko hata naenda kwa visit sijakutana na for the last 2 and a half years It costs the recovering addicts 60,000 shillings per month to be here. This according to the Serenity Place management is for their medical attention and their upkeep which includes accommodation and meals. By the end of the 90-day program, they will have spent a total of 180,000 shillings. But the recovering addicts say their time here is worth every dime. I liked the feeling of being sober again. This with roles Elisha. Now unasikia ni kama like a 12 year old kid uh-huh. yeah <laughs> the transformation is unbelievable especially for James who says he embodied the wretched of the earth now he is pursuing a degree course in addiction counseling i didn't have a direction i didn't have any hopes but at least uh, for now have a profession have a family they come in through our gates looking scruffy looking sick we by the way take their weight some of them weigh as little as 40 kg grown men and by the end of the three months uh, you won't even recognize the person when i see the parents feeling so good or the guardians feeling so good that we brought you a wreck but you have given us our son back or you have given us our daughter back i think that is the most fulfilling thing i've ever experienced in my life Wow, I meza kuona some of the testimonies kutoka the serenity place au ni baadhi ya watu ambao walikuwa addicts. Uh, kuna yule anasema kwamba morning MBC I am charity. I have a nephew who is a drug addict but uh, wondering how a serenity place inaweza kumsaidia au msaidia drada wale ambao mweza kuwatazama pale wote katika runinga ni drug addicts na pia ambao walikuwa na substance abuse na different types of uh, uh, abuses na mambo ya addiction tofauti na unaona Mungu ameweza kuwasaidia an IT expert a beautician a teacher by profession paka anaamua ya kwamba aweze aku resign mapema now bwana james you you tell us briefly mm-hmm. uh, what exactly do you do to these guys um, you know um what to say kwamba it is a treatment mm-hmm. there is a process mm-hmm. um once mtu akikuja kwa rehabilitation center the first step inakuwa ni what we call screening and testing mm-hmm. um hapo ndipo tunaweza anaweza kufanywa test yes drug test mm-hmm. drug test is very inclusive mm-hmm. inatoa everything even uh, easy tunaita dawa zingine tunaita otc inatoa mpaka dawa zile prescribed mm-hmm. zenye umetumia off date yes so it is very inclusive mm-hmm. so um, after that sasa ndivyo stage 2 uh, tunapata wanafanywa review mm-hmm. by a psychiatrist doctor sasa the psychiatrist doctor the after the review sasa ana tunachora what we call the treatment plan mm-hmm. from the doctors uh, from the psychiatrist yes the treatment plan um, in this case in a involve two stages mm-hmm. Uh, na tukienda sana tatu the first stage inaitwa withdrawal management mm-hmm. uh, na hiyo ndio shida kubwa sana mm-hmm. withdrawal management mtu akiacha kutumia 
his drug of choice mm -hmm. once inaleta shida nyingi sana mm -hmm. he can bring what we call conversions hiyo ni unaweza anaweza anguka azirai mm -hmm. ingine inaleta mtetemeko ingine inaleta irritation yes ile mtu anakasirika sana anaweza anza kuvuja vuja vitu mm -hmm. Sasa kumanage the na sasa iyo craving sasa. Mm -hmm. um, kila mtu akiamka asubuhi ambao wanatumia hizi mandawa kila mtu huwa naamka asubuhi anasema hii ndio yangu ya mwisho. Mm -hmm. Lakini ni, ni nini hiyo ina motivate kuendelea mm -hmm. ni hiyo cravings. Mm -hmm. uh, iyo ni stage 1 una manage tuna manage the withdrawal prescription mm -hmm. the doctor the, the treatment plan. Ya pili akiwa mazaidiwa sana zaidi ina depend pia anafanywa detoxification detoxification sasa inafanywa uh, in forms whereby you are given in form of drip divi inaenda ku cleanse the blood yes inatoa hiyo kwa blood stream mm -hmm. so those are the two stages now uki treat the physical body uh, sasa is the first stage is involving treating the physical body lakini hiyo si shida shida sasa ni treating the, uh, the the psychological perspective sasa ku treat akili mm -hmm. hapo ndipo psychologist wanaingilia counseling inaingilia hapo sasa kwa nini huyu mtu unajua argument ya hawa watu ni moja mm -hmm. bona mimi nimeleta hapo wengine about 95% ya watu wenye tunakuanga na wao inakuwa involuntary mm -hmm. ni mtu anajikuta kama venye ndugu yangu amesema hapa yes. ni kujikuta unajikuta umetrikiwa mm -hmm. you are outsmarted mm -hmm. Nona, unajikuta huko mm -hmm. na huna la kufanya mm -hmm. kwa sababu kuna sheria na kuna rules na kuna regulation mm -hmm ambazo lazima uzivuatilie. Sasa 95% of the people we have inakuwa involuntary. Aha. Unaona? Unaletwa tu chafu unaambiwa mnaenda mahali kutembea yeah, unajipata. Ndio hiyo sasa. Mm -hmm. Ju lazima sasa tuokoe hii maisha ya mtu mmoja. Yes. Unaona ya kwamba ile argument hawa watu wako nayo mm. mimi niamka asubuhi. Nimefanya kazi yangu, nimepata malipo yangu. Hakuna mtu nimesumbua. Si hii ni maisha yangu? Mm. Jameni, bwana mwana, unaniuliza nini? Mm -hmm. Wewe nilikuitisha pesa. Sija kuitisha pesa yote. Mm -hmm. Bwana una unaniingilia kwa nini? Mm -hmm. Hiyo argument. Mm -hmm. Lakini sasa psycho unaona kwa kuna shida ya ki, ya, ya kimawazo. Yes. Kwa sababu life is more than that. True. Sasa hapo ziko ndipo counseling inaingilia. Mm -hmm. Lazima turete what we call self awareness. Mm -hmm. Bwana uko hapa. Lazima aelewe from another side eh yeah, anasoma kutaka kwa kitabu kingine mm -hmm. na sisi tunasoma kwa kitabu kingine mm -hmm. sasa ku, ku, inaitwa the denial period mm -hmm. hawa watu wanakuwa kwa denial mm -hmm. that denial period alafu anasema kwamba i can manage myself alafu na kunywanga tu bili mm -hmm. hajui hizo bili sio yeye yeah, anataka ni yeye yeah, ni kujikuta anajikuta every day lazima akunywe hizo bili yes. na venye alisema economically you are depleted mm -hmm. kabisa so Psychologist counseling ndio inakuanga hapo. Tunaongoa na psycho education. Hiyo mm. ina we choose a topic we discuss about it. Mm -hmm. Kuna what we call ah watu lazima sasa uwape occupational therapy. Kuna group therapy. Alafu kuna sasa hiyo alcoholic anonymous meeting, AA meetings ambazo ni mzuri sana. Mm -hmm. Kwa sababu mtu mmoja hawa ukijinyamazia hivi unadhani wewe ndio uko condemned, unajicondemn na hiyo ni shida baha sana psychologically uko umejikodem na umekaa pahali on yourself lakini sasa during the AA meetings hapo tunakuwa na life sharing mm -hmm. wewe ulikuwa unadhani kesi yako ni difficult unasikia ya mtu mwingine unaona yako is it is just a drop in the mm -hmm. in the ocean so una open up mm -hmm. the moment you open up you heal mm -hmm. then toward the end lazima tuite family therapy kwa sababu uraibu ama addiction affects two people mm -hmm the direct user and the indirect user and in this case the indirect users are the most the one who suffers a lot now the family mm -hmm. imekuzunguka huyo mtu kwa sababu huyo mtu hana shida anaona maisha yake inaenda normal yes lakini wenye wanajua huko normal maisha yako haiko normal mm -hmm. juu wanajua you can do better than that ni wenye wanakuzunguka mm -hmm. there is social stigmatization kitu kipotea pahali fulani nani anakuaga kwanza suspect ni wewe tu na kwa nini naona kama ni nani? Mm. Naona kama ni Jeff. Mm. Kitu kukuidue pahali ni nani? You are the first one. You are the first one. Yes. Sasa inakuwa kwa hiyo boma kuna shida. Mm. Mnakuwa ma suspect. Kitu kifanyika uko diko police wana radi ya kwanza. That is social stigmatization. Mm -hmm. Ambayo familia haiwezi chukua for, uh, 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 kwa wakati mkubwa. Mm. During that time sasa divyo to heal. Lazima sasa wawe divyo to heal the family huyo mtu akikuja hapa lazima tuwe na family therapy which is very important mm. family therapy mnashikana mna, mna sasa mnampe 
huyu mtu ndivyo wa win back the trust yeah. kwa sababu kuna shida nyingine sasa hapa mm. ndivyo tunaenda kwa sababu huyu mtu tumemtibu tume amerudi kwao sasa akirudi kwao hawa na wao wanamuona tu vyenye walikuwa na muo mm -hmm. hiyo ni trika inaweza leta relapse mm -hmm. so lazima tuwe na family hapa tumwambie you have to give this person support yenye anahitaji yes ili supportive apate soft landing mm -hmm. apate soft landing na akuje mshike vizuri peni ye trust mm -hmm. Siku nyingine hamko mna pesa pesa aende kwa duka. Mpeni muone vile atafanya. Yes. Muone kama ukweli ya machinge. Mm -hmm. Unaona? Mm -hmm. Lakini sasa alafu unajua sasa unakuta kwamba familia inaanza kusema mtu akitembea huko maybe anapewa kikombe cha chai huko nyumba kwa boma maybe kikombe cha chai kimekuwa kimeisha kimeporomoka rangi maybe kitu kama hiyo unasikia mama amesema. Na unajua ni genuinu wa vikombe nyingi sana. Lakini si unajua nani na mapombe yake kwanza ilibidi tupeleke pesa hata huko. Hapana you don't associate life mm -hmm. you don't compare the life of this person mm -hmm. with the money yeah. hiyo itakuwa trigger kwa sababu huna yeye ataamua ku revenge kwa nini na unajua mimi nilikuwa nasikia vibaya kama amu appreciate mimi mimi alafu kumshukua kama ni liability mm -hmm. all the time mm -hmm. ah sasa ah, unajua nilikuwa nimepaga ni nunue ngombe mm -hmm. lakini sasa unajua mm -hmm. ilibidi kwanza ngombe yangu ilipitia hapa yes. inilieta kupeleka ngombe yako nilipeka unaona mm -hmm. hiyo ni makosa inaitwa relax mm -hmm. uh, uh, inaitwa uh, triggers sasa hiyo family therapy alafu then tuna discuss exit plan hiyo ndio shida ingine mm. huyu mtu tunasemaga uh, new wine served uh, tunasema ni uh, new wine served in old bottles uh, in new bottles in old bottles mm. still taste the same the same still taste the same mm. sasa huyu mtu akitoka alafu muwe hamuna exit plan mzuri yani anatoka anaenda wapi atatoka Unyo, ujue kitu moja tunapaswa tuelewe hapa mm. vilabu hazitafungwa yes. bug dealers hawata hawajatoka all these things anarudi kwa the same ground mm. yeye ni kiumbe kipya kimerudi kwa the same same mm. ground the same, same ground mm. hapo kuna shida mm -hmm. kama hamtakuwa na good exit plan mm -hmm. inaleta what we call relapse directly mm. inaleta relapse so lazima tu discuss your exit plan lazima tu discuss your the exit plan ndivyo sasa tuwe na mpangilio mzuri yes. then lazima wafundishwe kitu tunaita relapse prevention mm. na three things uh, zinakuwa emphasized people places and things mm. avoid them mm -hmm. wewe ulikuwa unavuta unakunywa pombe alafu weekend ikifika unasema nitaenda kwa club ni watch game mm. alafu nifanye nini alafu nitakunywa kasoda a a unajidanganya mm. usijidanganya never lie to yourself utakunywa soda soda siku mbili siku ya tatu kuna rafiki mkalimu atakuja atakwambia kwa, kwa hey long time bana mm -hmm. pewa biri hapo yes. sasa kitu cha kupewa utakata no, utamwambia exactly. utakunya soda na hawezi nunua soda mm -hmm. ofias mm -hmm. ama kwambie kuja tukakule nyama pale hiyo ni kitu haifanyaka haifanyaka mm -hmm. so that is it ni this is a program that treats physical body and also treats the physical uh, the, 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 mental. Uh, the mental approach okay. na the root core of the problem mm -hmm. ni hapa wow akili mtu ni akili. Mm -hmm. Sasa unapata kama tuseme ni pombe. Mm -hmm. Pombe effect zake zake ni gradual na long lasting. Mm -hmm. Unaweza kunywa pombe miaka kumi, inakuja ina destroy maini, kidney, pole pole by the time by the time unakuja clear rice you got a problem it, it is too late. too late na mambo mengi yamefanyika. Na mambo mengi yamefanyika. Okay. Bangi tofauti yake. Mm -hmm inakuwa ga instant. Mm. Kitu ya kwanza na bangi hata akikwambia bangi hakuna haitwagi moshi. Hata anaweza vuta bangi hapa na usiojue. Mm. Na unajua ukivuta bangi haivutangi kama sigara. Kuna vyenye inashikwa hivi. Mm -hmm. Nona? Mm. Ukivuta hiyo hewa unanyamaza. So utasikia tu smell lakini uwezi wema mo? Moshi. Utasikia tu smell. Sasa alafu kuna vyenye inafanywa ndivyo iigie kwa bloodstream unavuta unavuta sasa hewa nyingine ukiweka hivyo sasa ukinyamazia alafu sasa unaanza kama ku rejuvenate sasa ndivyo inaingiza unachanganya na oxygen inaingia direct kwa blood stream mhm mm sasa immediately inaenda kwa neural system ikienda kwa neural system ina affect watu kwa kwa jeto tofauti na inakuwa ka instant kuna mwenye inaenda ina affect speech part kuna mwenye inaenda ina affect coordination part mm -hmm. kuna mwenye inaenda ina affect memory part na kuna mwenye inaenda ina affect other parts of the brain mm -hmm. na zinakuwa manifested kwa outside 
kuna ingine na kuletea mtu anacheka kama mjinga kuna ingine na muonyesha sasa ni kukura kuna mwingine na muonyesha sasa ni kufanya kazi anafanya kazi ukiangalia unasema ni tractor kuna ingine inaonyesha huyo mtu sasa hana kodi hawezi comprehend mnaongelea mambo ya arusi anasema na nimesikia hiyo mazishi lazima tutaattend mm. unasikia coordination of nini mm. haiko mm. mnaongea sasa ime affect na hiyo inakuwa mbaya sana alafu ina affect ina unajua neural system ndio inaleta information all over the body mm -hmm. ina affect what we call it works harder in hard with what we call the nervous system mm -hmm. unapata ya kwamba the relaying of information response to what we call stimuli ukipkua saa hizi ukijipinchi hivyo within neural second the message has been sent to the brain it has been interpreted it is a pinch and then you respond by rubbing that place unaona sasa unapata ya kwamba umepisikia watu wengi wamechomeka kwa nyumba kwa nini response to stimuli kabla ibe interpreted the information ibe read here ime affect mpaka nerve system unaweza zamba huyu mtu kofi aende mpaka pale alafu sasa al respond baadaye after unaona kuna something abnormal yes unamzaba kofi alafu ananyamaza like 2 minutes alafu sasa ana explode haya yeye umenigonga 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 after 2 minutes uko na radio case ameamua kunyamazia mm -hmm. lakini it is the reading of information okay. kwa sababu ime affect the nervous system mm -hmm. the nervous system works hard in hard within the neural system mm -hmm. so the reading of interpretation of the information in the, within the body and the response to stimuli mm -hmm. inakuwa read mm -hmm. naona yes hiyo ni kitu baa sana okay. alafu kuna impaired judgment mm -hmm. inaletwa bado na hiyo bangi mm -hmm. unaona watu wanagongwa na magari kwa barabara kwa nini you impaired judgment anaona gari iko 2 kilometers lakini the lead sense iko only 100 meters iko karibu na yeye mm -hmm. so anasema by the time we nipite nitakuwa nifanye nini nitakuwa nimevuka mm. unaona mm. hiyo impaired inaleta impaired judgment unaona hii ni mtaro unataka kuruka mm. lakini unaruka unaanguka ndani ya hiyo mtaro kwa sababu gani iko na impaired judgment yes kuna hallucination na bangi among the all the drugs bangi na so bangi is very dangerous sasa kuna sasa hallucination hallucination na derisions huyu mtu anaongea sasa na, unajua sasa mimi niko na milioni kumi and uh, in my ako na business kwa kichwa mm -hmm. ya CEO mm -hmm. lakini hakuna physical building mm -hmm. na hakuna mambo yote yes. so hizo ni hallucinations mm -hmm. ambazo zinasumbua hawa watu sana hallucinations mm -hmm. unaona yes. so eh, bangi is really dangerous cocaine and heroin they make you pass out mm -hmm. ukipitia hapa maybe hapa street kwa nakuru utapata mtu tu ame relax ameka hivi has passed out uh, yani it makes you pass out for some moment mm -hmm. unaweza kuwa ni like 8 hours umekaa tu hivyo unashindwa ukienda unapita unakuta huyo mtu amerara tu hapo uh, na amerara amekaa tu na ngo nyingine mm -hmm. so and that is why umesikia watu wengi sana wamekunywa hiyo kitu alafu sasa it makes you pass out mm -hmm. unajua sasa ukipass out unaweza unaweza udare mm -hmm. kwa mwili hakuna chakula energy so you unalala unalala unakuta umerara cha ukweli umekufa most of them wanyo wanatumia hizo cocaine na heroin mm -hmm. who, they sleep to death mm -hmm. wow kwa sababu mm, that's very true ah uh, mm. unaweza ukambia nini mtu ambaye saa hizi anakutazama na ni drug addict ama yule mtu ambaye anakutazama na na anaishi na mtu ambaye anatumia drugs zile ambazo ulikuwa unazitumia ah uh, mimi ningependa kumwambia ya kwamba ah uh, tuokoe maisha mhm mm Um, mwenye ako na mtu mwenye anatumia hizo vitu at least amsaidie kuokoa maisha because um, hawa watu wenye wanatumia mimi nilikuwa mmoja wao nilikuwa nimezama na nilikuwa nashindwa huku nitatoka namna gani lakini the moment unajaribu kutoka huwezi toka kwa hivyo wale watu wanatumia wako katika kile kifungo ni kama they are slaves wamefungwa ni kufungwa wamefungwa kwa hivyo wanataka usaidizi ya kutolewa kule. Mm -hmm. Kwa hivyo wewe ambaye uko na mtu mwenye anatumia hizi drugs. Uh, wewe uko na jukumu ya kumtoa huko. Na mwingine uh, mwenye naye mwenye anatumia hizi drugs, tafadhali ni vizuri kuelewa ya kwamba uh, ni njia ya kifo. Hiyo ni njia ya kifo. It is very dangerous. Mm -hmm. Kwa hivyo ningewe wa, wasihi ya kwamba wakumbali wao Uh, wako katika kile kifungo na wangependa ku, ku, kutoka kwa kile kifungo na wangependa pia kupewa usaidizi. Mm -hmm. Kwa hivyo um, kuna hii rehab ambayo inaitwa Serenity Place ambayo mimi nilikuwa mmoja wao. 
na um, ime nisaidia sana mm -hmm. so i would advocate na ningependa wa wakuje pia wapate hii usaidizi kama mimi mm -hmm. venye nilipata siku hizi naweza kujifanyia kazi yangu ninalima nimefuga tukondo kiasi niko na kangombe yangu mmoja hapo ya maziwa mm -hmm. at least nikiingia kwa ni, wakati niko kwa shamba mm -hmm. na jisikia kweli maisha imerudi masuri. maisha imerudi wow. upya and to God. it's a new experience mm -hmm. this is a new experience mm -hmm. ile miaka ni, nilikuwa kwa, kwa, kwa ile addiction mm -hmm. ni kama nilikuwa kwa dunia ingine mm -hmm. Lakini sasa sina hizo attachment mm -hmm. nasikia vizuri kivika ni Sunday naenda church wow. nimekuwa na marafiki wengine wapya mm -hmm. ninakuwa na encourage us wanani encourage mm -hmm. so i feel very free i'm not in bondage mm -hmm. and it is all because of serenity amen kama sio serenity wow uh, sijui maisha yangu ilikuwa imepotea kuna mtu ambaye anasema ma beneficiary of serenity place ingawa hujaniambia jina lako na mahali mm -hmm. ambako unatoka asante sana Mungu akubariki Na kuna wengi ambao wanaulizia mahali ambapo Serenity Place iko na vile ambavyo wanaweza wakafika mahali pale nadhani hao ndio wengi zaidi na kuna mwingine anasema ya kwamba Mungu azidi kukulinda na kuhifadhi ndani ya neno lake na asante sana kwa kubadilika tunajua pia wengi watabadilika mwingine pia anasema once at Serenity good to see you kwa nini amtuambie jina at least to appreciate <laughs> wow na mwalimu tukitamatisha mm. pengine unaweza kuwaelezea mahali ambapo Serenity Place inapatikana huduma ambazo zinapatikana pale na nambari za simu kama zipo. Mm, ah, asante sana. Mm -hmm. um, Serenity tuko na uh, two branches. Mmoja iko upande wa hapa Moy Forces na Kurulanet. Um, ukifika tu hapo Saint Monica, wengine hivyo utapata ana nayo. The other branch iko na Robi, uh, Kahawa Sukari, uh, Q River Road, um, Second South Southern Avenue utaipata hapo. Um, services zetu zina include uh, kuna marriage counseling uh, kuna drug counseling na kuna rehabilitation na kuna treatment uh, the drug addicts and uh, hizo zote utazipata wenye wako na shida kwa ndoa they come there for counseling inside ndoa nyingi zinavunjika bona zinavunjika zinavunjika kwa sababu uh, 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 mtu hawezi uh, hapati a good platform ya, kufaya, ya kujiongea. Um, nambari zetu za simu ukitaka ku, kuongea na na Kuru Blanche ni 0701 Huo ni upande wa Nakuru. Kama uko na, maeneo ya Nairobi 0706 343 985 0706 343 na na mimi nitasaidika. Alright, hizo ziko chini ya kio cha runinga yako mpenzi mtazamaji. It has been a wonderful day to kutane kesho same time, same place ndani ya Shoya Sabalheri. Tutakuwa na mtumishi wa Mungu Reverend Ben Anganga kutoka Chosen Generation tukizungumza kuhusiana na masuala mengi ya mahusiano pamoja na ndoa. On behalf of what you have kipindi hiki, to kesho, bye bye.